you have all the grace of a reversing dump truck without any tires on. <laughs> See ya. 110 days ago, I rolled the Revenant Caves chunk. These are the main goals that I need, and we've made very decent progress so far. As of the last video, we only need one item to complete the Revenant Caves green lock. After 35,000 Revenants, I have two of each the Crossbow and the Thamarin Scepter, but zero Begora's Chain Maces. Can we get the final item needed to complete the Revenant Collection Log today? Let's find out. Welcome back to Canafish Chunk. Before the video, I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of you watching. This series has done so, so well. Each video gets 40, 50, 60,000 views, which are numbers I genuinely never thought I'd ever reach. I'm on the road to 25k subscribers, and only 36.4% of my views come from subscribed viewers. So if you aren't, and you enjoy this series or this video, it'd be massively appreciated if you did. It's free, and it makes me feel all warm and gooey inside, and I can show my wife that, indeed, Number go up, and Canafish Chunk is not a waste of time. Enjoy this video. Oh, well, th this should be a fun start to the video. I've got our invent absolutely chocked full of loot. And we've got a PK on us, but I might have got him there. Ah, oh, you stopped to equip your mage gear. You are done. See ya. <laughs> Oh, I'm just too good. I'm just too good with the, with the, what was it? I, I called it wrong footing in that video and everyone laughed at me. I juked him. I juked him. See, 670k in the looting bag, plus a bunch of stuff in there. And we have a load of ether in these. That would have been a big PK for that guy, but I'm just too good. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Revenants when I'm on the PC and I'm going to do Agility at the Werewolf course while I'm on my mobile. Uh, because the reason being is that when I'm on mobile, I kind of have to do revs in a slightly less efficient way. I don't want to lose all my magic short bows, and I do have the propensity to die on mobile more often. So I do use the maple short bow when I'm on mobile and the Addy Arrows, and I go to Pyrefiends, and just generally it's less kills per hour, less uh, chance per kill. Um, so it's just far better to... Um, do the agility on mobile where I can be equally as efficient as on the PC and then save doing the revenants for when I'm on the PC. So I'm about to log off and go on to my mobile right now. So I'm going to go do some agility. Oh, fantastic news. So um, the Discord, my Discord, that... Ah, oh, fuck's sake. This isn't, this isn't fantastic news. Some guy showing up. Aww. <laughs> Okay, so as we were saying, I believe that I'm going to run back into this room now on my alt, and I believe that this guy should just teleport away from my alternative account. The boys in the Discord told me that if you just equip a DDS and stand anywhere near these guys, they just teleport. You don't need to attack them. Like, there we go. See, as soon as he ran into view with the DDS equipped, bot ran away. So that means all I have to do now is stand there on the alt account and the bots will run away. So this is what the rev cave should be like if uh, it wasn't infested with bots. So I spent 7,000 kills tagging like, you know, five bots a minute with my, uh, with the alt, but it, all I needed to do was equip a DDS, which I have now done. So this should now be even easier, which is really, really handy. And just, you know, hands-free getting rid of the bots is going to be super, super nice indeed. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to time uh, this now that no bots are stealing my kills. So we're starting at 42 minutes on the update timer. And let's get stuck in and see how many kills we can get. And we were starting at 268, by the way. So, well, 35,268. So we'll see how we're doing shortly. Okay, this will be the last kill in the six-minute test that we're doing. I lost a few seconds due to actually having to check how many kills I've done in the collection log. So that's why I'm kind of letting this one go slightly over. So at the end of this kill, we'll be able to know how many kills per hour we are getting in this new state. So... 
two eight six. So yeah, eighteen. So eighteen times ten at one hundred and eighty kills per hour is what we're getting. Really not bad. So we now know when people are real players because they don't instantly teleport. So that guy was like a real player. And I guess the fact he was sculled with a with a with a cross or a web weaver is probably a giveaway as well. But very nice just having all the bots teleport straight away, I must say. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, not again. We just got a Theremin Scepter. No, the pain. That's three of each will do weapon now. But not the one that we need, which is the Chain Mace. What are we looking at now? Yep, three of each, zero Chain Mace. Come on, please. Please, come on, we have to get the chain mace soon. We just have to. Oh, it was it was nice to see a weapon on the ground, to be fair. They do look unbelievable every single time. But, ah, uh, it would have been better to get the mace. Oh, oh Theremin's Scepter. Theremin's Scepter. It looked good on the ground, at least. Oh, look... Here we go. Chuck it in the stack with the other one. Another one. There we go. So we got three scepters in the bank. That is nuts. At least uh, if I need to use magic in the wilderness at some point, they're they're kind of expendable. So uh, I guess I could maybe use them in revs with an avarice and just drop them if I get a really solid PK on me. Or I think they convert into seven and a half K ether to be fair, which would actually be quite a lot. So I guess it's not the end of the world. Well, here goes nothing. We are about to get level 87 hit points. That's, we're now a pretty high level account, aren't we, in the combats? I mean, 97 range, 92 magic, 87 hit points. That's actually kind of baller. So, yeah, hopefully we won't get too many more hit points levels before getting the chain mace. Ancient crystal number 14. We've got the resources to make the uh, obelisk in our POH three and a half times over. So uh, that might potentially be some good uh, construction XP one day. But as we are at the moment, quite a useless drop. That's a pretty nice looting bag there. Not even full and 765k. Hopefully we can... Uh, we can pick up something we actually need soon. I would actually, as much as a chain mace would be nice, I'd also quite like a second avarice because I would quite like to try it out here um, just to kind of give it a go with the crossbow. Um, but as is, I've only got one, so I don't want to lose it. But I feel like with the crossbow um, at quads, I'd be able to hit, what, 40s, possibly 41, 42. Um, and I just feel like that would be an incredibly fun thing to do here. I could probably kill all four of them very, very quickly. Um, so I'd love to give that a go. So hopefully if we don't get Chain Mace, we get Avarice. Oh, here we go. This is actually a proper, proper PK. Look at the gear. He's got 75 agility, so it's not a guaranteed escape. He's running around. He's trying very hard at this. At least I've got the restores, but I can't guarantee that I'll get away on this one. I'm doing quite a good job on my prayer switches so far. Uh, but he's catching every freeze because he's in his arims. And I've not got much food. Ah. Oh. Rest in peace, the, uh, the 800 to 900k we had in the looting bag. That's a nice PK for that guy. Oh, that's so annoying because now, now my ancient crystals don't match. Uh, oh, that's so heartbreaking. 13 in the bank and 14 on the collection log. That's so sad. No. 36,000 kills, though. There is no sponsorship on this video, so I'd like to take the chance to tell you to go over to FreyRS.com and just check out the merch, see if there's anything that you like. Quite a lot of people have bought it so far, so I'm anticipating, you know, at RuneFest and things like that, there'll be quite a lot of people wearing it so we can all recognise each other and go, hey, we're friends of the same guy. That same guy being me. Um, so if you see anything that you like, 
it would be much appreciated if you uh, if you cop some and uh, every single one is much much appreciated. Oh, pink text got me badly there. Eight mil GP. Very nice. Just the pink text on the ground at Rebs always looks so nice. Do I wish it was a mace? Yes, I do. But eight mil GP, we do not complain about that. And we made it back to the bank. There we go. That is our third one of those in the bank. We could trade in two of them at any point we like and retain a full set. I mean, just look at our set of them now. We've got at least three of every emblem. That is pretty crazy. That is a lot of GP right there. Loot tab up to 387 mil these days, which is just absolutely crazy. Um, hopefully, our luck continues on those because it is nice getting lots of GP. But crucially, hopefully, we can get Chain Mace as our next weapon. Oh, the worst drop to get. The 500k emblem, equally as rare as the 16 mil or the 8 mil one or something like that but only worth 500k that is the worst drop you can get sad times come on let's get something useful more magic seeds and those five are actually our 99th magic seed so one more and we will be in the three digit magic seeds which is quite wild considering how rare they are from the revenants Oh, and there's a one mil emblem, the bread and butter of the Revenant Caves. Free one mil GP. We will take it. Not too bad. Getting quite lucky with these things lately. 1.7 mil in the looting bag there. Not bad. <laughs> GP per hour since we moved to uh, quads instead of the pyre fiends has been absolutely crazy. So, uh, yeah, let's hope that continues. Oh, I've got bored of the Revenant, so I've decided to come and do some agility at the Werewolf course. And it's going pretty well, I would say. We're getting, we're halfway-ish to level 82. Uh, this counter we've got here is showing us 37% of the way to level 89. Uh, so that's 37% from where we started this chunk. And I believe we started this chunk at level 71, maybe? No, 75. 75. No, yeah, yeah, it must have been 71 because we were 71 and I got 75 so that I could do the Revenant uh, shortcut. So, yeah, we started at level 71. So we're 37.4% of the way from level 71 to level 89, which is not too bad. And we're getting about 50k XP per hour, which means that we'll get level 89 in just shy of 50 hours, which really doesn't seem too bad considering when i started this chunk we were staring down the barrel of doing 300 hours of uh cannabis course so luckily my big brain strategy and some lucky updating from dragex with uh forestry and foxes means that i've definitely cut this grind down a lot and just shy of 50 hours seems positively manageable I don't think I'll get 89 in this video. I'm going to try and balance my activities a bit because we still obviously need that mace as like really the sort of linchpin of this chunk. But I may as well throw in some agility so that when we kind of get to the end of the Revenant Caves, I've not got loads and loads and loads of agility to go. Um, but yeah, not too bad. Level 81 agility. It's weird. Do you ever find it when you split up a grind? Um, that you're wanting to get, like whether that's a 99 or whatever, if you just do a bit of it and then go do some other stuff for a few weeks or a month and then come back to it, it feels like you didn't do it at all. It's hard to believe I've ever been at agility courses doing 2.3 million agility XP. It, I, like, I barely remember that at all. So, yeah, I'm definitely it's definitely worth just kind of doing a bit, knocking it out, and then going away and doing something else for a bit, if you can. Because when you come back to it, it's like, God, did I really have I really spent, you know, 100 hours doing this already? I can't even barely remember that. Um, yeah, that's the kind of feeling that I've got now. So we'll probably try and get, you know, I'm 82, 83, 84, something like that in this video. Uh, see how we get on. I'm, I'm mainly doing it on mobile. I'm only doing it on desktop right now because uh, my wife is in the bath. So I've only got like sort of 20 minutes and I was already geared up here on mobile and I thought I'm not going to go all the way to Revenants just to come back here in 20 minutes so yeah some desktop agility and it is quite fun uh, only when you've been in the rev caves getting annoyed by PKers over and over and over again does doing some agility the way of course seem positively relaxing um, but it does
It's a sad, sad day. I've started having RuneScape dreams again. I've woken up this morning. It's 5 a.m. Um, and, you know, when I had a hardcore Iron Man, I used to dream about dying on RuneScape, like, every night. I'd, I'd like, wake up, like, you know, with, with my heart going a little bit because I died on my hardcore Iron Man. And I haven't had a dream about RuneScape for years. Uh, but last night I had a dream that I died and lost my crossbow to a guy who one hit me, uh, 84, in like full Torva and an AGS. Um, so, I mean, I don't know why I've started having that dream now, because I've got a second crossbow, so it wouldn't particularly matter. But uh, yeah, safe to say the, uh, the RuneScape addiction is going crazy right now. Oh, all right, all right. Go on, we'll get another 8 mil emblem. Oh, they do look bloody nice on the ground, don't they? Look at the state of that. The pink text just always goes exceptionally hard. Right, let's grab that and get our asses out of here and grab these teleports on the way. And we might as well, we might as well grab the entangle sacks. They will be useful for Callisto one day. Uh, and it looks like we had a fairly lucky escape because someone just ran into that room just after us. Hopefully none of these bots are programmed to attack people that got emblems within the caves. Looks like they are not. And hopefully this will be plain sailing to the exit. 500k in the looting bag. So an easy, what, 8.7, 8.8 mil trip. Not too bad. Yeah, I don't think there's, I don't think there's any surviving this. <laughs> no chance. Ugh, look at this absolute unit. Ooh, we weren't too far away from getting smited there. I'm pretty sure I was down to one prayer point at one point. At least we kept the crossbow, and at least it's not so bad that I, uh, because I've got a second one. But <laughs> that was pretty bad play from me. Uh, whoops. PK is like that last guy is what stops me bringing the avarice here, is because I can escape from like 90% of them, 95% of them, even 99% of them pretty easily. But people like that, like, jumped up, like, you know, full crystal, like, uh, ancient god swords, all that stuff. Like, I, I've got no chance of getting away. Like, if they've got the agility level and, like, stacked gear, like, they just will kill me. And it's pretty rare, but not as rare as getting an avarice from these. So, like, if I use my avarice here, I just will lose it sooner rather than later. And I know some people said, oh, why don't you use the avarice and the magic shortbow instead of the crossbow? But it's just so much worse. Um, it's like the max hit is I think a 22 instead of the 34 that I can hit with the crossbow and the accuracy is lower. So just the crossbow is better than the combo of the magic shortbow and the avarice. And also if I lose the magic shortbows, they're not as easy for me to get as most accounts. Um, I have to get bowstrings from the young implings, which itself takes time and money. So yeah, just using the avarice, just, I <sighs> just not worth it with the crossbow or with the magic shortbow, I think. Oh, we're back at it again, getting the ancient crystals. Let's grab that bad boy. Oh, never. Oh, I hate this guy, fucking Chonsa Brand. He never hops. He just hops into my world and just starts killing revs. And he's not a bot. He's just a dick. Oh, this is a top tier looting bag. Look at that. Two double dragon plate skirts this trip. That is so nice. Easily a one mil looting bag without any emblems. The GP here is just crazy. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get to a half bill bank before we uh, are absolute finished here. Oh, just look at that pure juice. 1.1 mil there. Another probably 100k in the invent. Oh, you love to see it. Oh, we just got a lamp. And you know what? It could very well be our last one. Because when I was talking about getting 14 farming, I hadn't bear, I hadn't bore in mind that there is garden pies knocking around and in fact how much do garden pies boost is it plus three plus three i think um so i don't want to be able to boost that to level 15 yet because that might get me in some bother um if i unlock the tree trunk it would be cut i would prefer to not start farming until i'd unlocked multiple trees i don't know how likely that's going to be but i'm obviously one chunk away in varrock um, from getting access to trees and I could very well hopefully get some more you know we're not too far away from places like Falador and um, and and the like 
So if we can avoid getting a uh, farming ground until we've got multiple tree trunks, that uh, tree chunks, that would be obviously advantageous because we've got an absolute ass load of U seeds, we've got an absolute ass load of magic seeds, we've got a lot of birds' nests in the bank from when we got up to 80 wood cut in. So yeah, if we can avoid that for a while, that would be advantageous. So bearing in mind that I think I can get garden pies, right? I might even have one in the bank because I think they are from an impling possibly young implings or gourmet implings something like that um so we're gonna just keep it safe keep the farming to level 10 and i'm not entirely sure what i should put my lamps on from here on out um i don't want to get my smithing up yet because if i get up to 15 smithing i believe uh, i will trigger a 99 smithing grind because there is an iron bar in one of my chunks but there's no access to um like an iron bar spawn on the ground. Uh, so I don't want to be lamp my smithing, which is a pretty classic one. Um, it might just be Slayer, I guess. That that seems uh, sensible because there's always the chance that I could get locked out of Slayer on something that's like to the far, far west of the map. So it probably makes sense to lamp Slayer and just hope that, because uh, that, that's kind of open-ended, right? There's never going to be a stupid grind attached to Slayer necessarily. Um, because you can't train it until <laughs> you get a task. <laughs> so, yeah, that that's probably going to be the way that will go. What do you think? What do you guys think, though? I don't know if there's something better. Uh, I feel like that's probably the one, though. If you've not been watching since the start as well, I am currently Earth Warrior locked on Slayer. So I have a task because there is a, a, a Slayer Master in Canopus. So I've had a Slayer task straight from the start. I got ghosts to start with, and I was able to do those um, near Port Phasmatis, so I did do one Slayer task. And then the next task I got was Earth Warrior, so I'm currently Earth Warrior locked out of Slayer because I can't find any Death uh, I can't get any Earth Warriors in the chunks that I have. But you can get an Earth Warrior in Edgeville, so that is uh, kind of where we're going to be picking up our Slayer next, I believe. Um, we can roll Edgeville at the moment. It is one of the chunks that's adjacent to ours. So when we get that one day, that'll probably be when we pick up Slayer proper again. But I obviously have the Slayer Tower, so I could kill, um, what are they called, Infernal Mages if I get to level 45, which with the new updates to the lamping system with random events, you get a lot more lamps. So 45 is potentially not even really that far away. Um, it will obviously be months away, but you know months on an extreme one chunk do kind of fly by So yeah, that's kind of an option It would be quite funny to uh, if we ever managed to lamp up to like level 80 slayer and get necrals or level 85 and get a whip um, But that would obviously be about a decade away So hopefully we don't have to worry about that and we get Edgeville sooner rather than later And we just hit 37,000 kill count at the Revenant, still no mace, which is incredible seeing as the rate for a mace is 1 in 18,000. So not only should we have 1, we should have 2. Uh, so hopefully bad luck turns around. PK just died here, seemingly from nothing, so I may as well just pick up all his gear, might I? Why not? I think he must have, what, AFK'd and died to a Revenant without a bracelet on would be my guess. I guess I'll take the free 342k. <laughs> not bad. We'll take that. I would really rather not die whilst I had all these magic seeds in my invent. <laughs> Uh, this guy's got 70 agility, unsure if he's got summer pies, looks like not. Why would you not bring summer pies with you? What a ridiculous decision if you got level 70 agility. Um, oh, I'm glad I didn't die with all those magic seeds on me. That would have been a bit awkward. And those five were our hundredth magic seeds. So we're now up to 104. Look at those bad boys. It is tragic that they are now only worth 70k. I remember when they, they were like, 200k the whole time I played old school RuneScape. Um but all of the uh, all of the recent bosses that just dropped shitloads of magic seeds have destroyed that. But yeah, 104 magic seeds, kind of balling. I think I should have more U seeds than magic seeds. So it's quite funny that I have this much more of the magic seeds than the U seeds when I totally shouldn't do. 
Oh, someone just got an amulet of avarice close by. When I say someone, I obviously mean a bot. Wish that was me. I'd love a second one that I could just lose and just spam around here shooting 40s with the crossbow. That would be so nice. Uh, but unfortunately, no dice. See, that's what happens now when a bot logs in. It just sees my DDS on this account and instantly logs out. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty effective. Oh, got the old, got the old 75 agility PK here. What are we going to do to get away? Go on, if he splashes that. No. Okay, right. 113 combat. We might be able to make a break for it. Down. There we go. See ya. See ya, Jeff. You mug. You absolute mug. <laughs> Here we go. Level 98 range. Look at that. And 87 combat, which is annoying. It's now up to 122s can attack us. But only one level to go until 99 range. I did not think I'd be getting 99 range in this chunk. Uh, a lot of that has been done with a maple shortbow as well. Um, only sort of in the 90s did we start using the crossbow properly. So, yeah, quite the achievement, I would say. Just the one level to go. So, so nice. Now, the eagle-eyed of you were probably watching all of the clips that I've been recording today, thinking, God, that guy's really, really close to an agility level, and you'd be absolutely correct. Uh, I, I, so, so I'm finishing off my time at the PC today after doing a thousand Revenant kills uh, by getting myself a quick agility level, which should be now, yes, level 82 agility, just seven levels to go. And level 82 agility actually means that we are halfway to level 89 agility because every seven levels you double your XP, so... Yeah, kind of brutal. Nearly forgot to give my stick in. So we're halfway there, but we've got a good training method now. It's quite annoying with the with the full damage, but it's not too bad. It takes me about 100k XP to go through a full uh, invent of the anglerfish, so it's really not too bad. Um, it would have been better if we'd had the strength so that we never failed, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. And generally, generally, this chunk has treated me quite well, I would say. So, you know... You can't have it all. Fuck me, I thought my shit talking was bad. <laughs> Look at these guys. Noob. Oh, the guy comes back. Noob. <laughs> Honestly, I can do better than that. I, I, I usually lean into um, like sort of belittling them, like going embarrassing. Sometimes I lead with, do you really need 100k this badly? <laughs> Noob. <laughs> <laughs> right, this terror terrorzits guy made this guy telly because he literally couldn't kill him, and now he's come back to get my uh, my account with no food on it. Oh, <laughs> oh. Oh, it's just too fun. He's not going to have anything to say, is he? He's going to log out. Oh, for fuck's sake. I just escaped a PK and ran straight into this guy. This guy's lucky day. No. Hang on. Ugh. Nothing I can do about that. Did I have anything good in the loot and bag? I don't think so. That was so sad. I only had like one food left on me after escaping an actual good PK. And then some fucking noob just took me. Oh, that's so infuriating. Oh, I might kill this guy. He attacked me rather than the other way around, so I don't feel bad. Why is he? Why would a level 52 attack me? Seems very odd. Maybe he's a bot or something that's just got on me by mistake. Very strange. <laughs> I got him! I got the guy! 
<laughs> I got shouted out in the clan channel, that's funny. <laughs> 130k, that wouldn't be too bad if I was a regular account. Well, I guess we take those, don't we? I barely even saw it out the side of my, uh, out the side of uh, the corner of my eye, but we'll take that. Nice little 16 mil emblem. Look at that beauty on the floor. It looks so good. Oh, oh, the 16 mil one in particular is very bloody nice. Let's hope we get out of it now without getting hit by any PKs. We've got a decent amount of food though, so even if we do, it may not be too bad. Okay, we made it back to the bank. There's so many PKs out right now. I think it's Americans. There's just a lot of American PKs, and at this time of day, there are a lot of Americans online. That is our fifth ancient relic in the bank. So that stack right there is 80 million GP. That is mental. Oh, God, I'm rich. I'm so rich. My whole bank, yeah, 579 mil. If I chuck all the stuff I've got equipped on, though, 494 mil. We're nearly at half a bill bank value. 450 mil of it in just this tab. That is nuts. Oh, one mil emblem. I guess we'll take those. Sarah. It's all, it all adds up in the end, doesn't it? This could not be worse timing to run into some fucking raid boss and I've got no food on me. And I might get away just because he's quite high combat. Two combat levels to go though, this is not going well. Oh no, make sure you don't get smited. Oh, come on. Okay. I think we're probably fucked either way though, to be honest. That is so bleak. For fuck's sake, full looting bag, full invent. Oh, that is such bad timing. Oh my god. Ooh, that's interesting. Slightly annoying because it could have been a mace, but that's very cool, actually. Love me an amulet of avarice. Uh, that means I can risk one now and lose one, potentially. Uh, which could be fun, but also, yeah, not entirely sure on if... if what? Uh, I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> I really don't know what to do with that. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, why couldn't it just be a mace and end my end my suffering in the Revenant Caves? Oh, no, it's been fun. It's been alright, to be fair. I, like, this grind is has taken a long time, but I've got a lot out of it as well. So, yeah, it should be alright. should be alright. Come on, we'll get the mace soon. All right, at least we made it back to the bank. Should I use it? I'm not going to use it now. I feel like I need to decide what's the best time of day to use it. But there's no real reason not to. If I die and lose it, I die and lose it. It's only really useful in the Revenant Caves. The only reason I'm not losing the first one is because it acts like a glory outside the wilderness and outside the Revenant Caves um, at the cost of permanently sculling you. So... Obviously, if I was doing like wilderness bosses, I wouldn't use it anyway, um, because then I'd just be sculled, and that's just ag that I don't need when I'm doing wildy bosses. Um, but outside the wilderness, it adds the glory, which I'd kind of like to keep seeing as I don't have a glory. But if I'm going to lose one, might as well lose it here, because I'm going to be getting the most benefit out of it in the meantime. Um, so yeah, I, I guess I'll use it in the Revenant Caves, but I don't really fancy using it now, because it's quite early in the morning, and I'll probably just lose it straight away. Oh, we just got another ancient crystal. I think that's number 15, possibly 16. Let's have a little look. 17. So we got, so I lost one. Um, so we now actually have a full set of four obelisks that we could build in the house. I don't actually know what the construction XP is for that. But I imagine it's decent. So I'm, I'll look that up one sec. Okay, so it is 3,000 XP per obelisk, but one thing I overlooked is as alongside the four ancient crystals, you also need four marble blocks, which I could easily afford because they're only like 325k each. However, you can only get them in Keldegrim, and to get to Keldegrim, I need to enter it via that uh, entrance east of Relica, which is a long, long long way away if we could get there via the grand exchange i'm you know i might unlock that relatively soon but 
yeah, Keldergrim via the Relica entrance? I don't think so. So that's off of the cards, but it would have been 12,000 construction XP, which would have been very nice. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. I found out the drop rate on it is about 1.7k as well, so I should be getting about just under two ancient crystals per unique drop. So, yeah, hopefully that's us halfway to another unique. Right, fuck it. Should we give it a go then? Grab an amulet of avarice and just get stuck in? Look at that. Oh, the amulet plus the crossbow is going to be beastly. Can we get the stale baguette on video? No, we can't. Okay, right, let's carry on. Right, we are starting at 38192, basically at 0015, and let's see what we can do. I'm hoping that the hits are going to be absolutely massive. I should, in theory, be able to hit up to a, about a 40, I reckon, if this thing's plus 20%. Uh, it's extra accuracy as well, so I should like barely miss. Yeah, what's that hit there? 38. 39 and it's not our max yes yes right okay so we're gonna be hitting all four of these revenants now uh so yeah in theory this should be massive it should be noting our loot as well like um the, sorry that's my kid coughing on them on the thing should be noting our like addy bars and stuff like that so this is a lot better if i could just buy these for 780k or whatever they're worth it'd be great unfortunately they're about a one in nine and a half thousand drop. So it's not perfect, but I mean, this is going to be mega. Let's go. There's the 40. There is the 40. Look at that. I guess in theory, these have 80 hit points. So I could probably two hit them now if I got very, very lucky and hit a 40 twice. But yeah, we can three tick 40s with a crossbow, specifically in the Revenant Caves. That is nuts. Right. So let's check our kills on the collection log and see how many we got in 12 minutes we got uh, 192 so we got 47 times 47 by 5 and we got 235 oh my god that is mega um, I'm getting like 110k range XP per hour as well um, so yeah, a, a unique in 1 in 3.6, getting 235 kills an hour. That means we're basically getting a unique in 15 hours using the Avarice. I'll tell you what though, I don't expect to live for the next 15 hours. If we do, that would be a fucking remarkable achievement. Um, but I highly, highly doubt it. And knobheads like this logging in and just starting killing my revenants is going to be affecting that. But... 235 kills per hour. I wish I was a main so badly. Imagine just being able to get that, no questions asked. I'd be able to use a web weaver as well if I was a main and, you know, other proper gear. So, yeah, I bet you can get some insane kills per hour. Yeah. The noted looping bag looks so nice as well. The fact that I can pick up so many Addy bars um, is just so nice. And, like, it's six... So I've got, that's 37 invent slots normally, just in that, plus, you know, five from the rune bar. So that would be 42 invent slots between those, um, plus seven of those, 49 just in the stuff that's normally just unnoted. Um, so that's kind of crazy. And then also just getting the extra manta ray unnoted is very nice as well, um, because I'm running pretty low on food, if you can't tell, which is quite annoying, because if I finish this chunk... This will be, and get like a wildy boss. This will be all the food I have to do wildy bosses, which wouldn't be very fun. Um, oh, and something I just noticed: we've hit two hundred dragon longswords in the bank now. Very nice indeed. Well, that's not very good. Uh, right, he is seventy-one agility. So if we can make it, we might be all right. But this is not a good person to walk into when we've got our avarice on us. Uh, uh, come on. I really need some splashes here. Or to somehow get a gap. Have we got a gap? Has he fucked up? Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! That is very lucky. He could very easily have killed us for our avarice. Oh, my heart's going. Oh! 
I'm absolutely loving using the Avarice, but I'm just so scared all the time that I'm going to get a peak air on me that I just can't beat, you know, like a raid boss with like full void and rigor and stuff. Um, but just look at the state of this looting bag. 1.3 mil. I love the fact everything gets noted so I don't have to bank as often. It's just so, so, so nice. The craziest bit about using the Avarice is normally when I'm using the crossbow, I say I shoot 500 shots. Um, over killing the Cyclopses and the, and the Demons, you get the Bracelet of Ethereum will pick up the Revenant Ether that they drop automatically. And I normally neg by about 20%. So if I shoot 500 crossbow, I'll check this and it'll have about 400 Ether in it, right? So I'm losing about 20%. But because I'm now killing them so quickly, I'm using less Ether per kill. Um, and I'm actually going slightly positive, about kind of 5 or 6% positive. So... When I shoot, I think in, on this trip I had 880 shots in the crossbow. So if I finish all those off, I should probably have just over 900 in this, which is pretty handy. Well, oh, I accidentally took it off. That was a fail. Um, yeah, so you can already see I'm up to 304, and if I started at 880, I can't be having below 280 shots shot at the moment. So, yeah, it's definitely way better. It's just, <laughs> how long can I hold on to this for? Oh, fuck, here we go. We've got a raid boss on us. Right, 71 agility. We might be all right if he hasn't got any summer pies on him, which he may not. Uh, let's hope for the best. Come on, please no summer pies. Anything? He's not crossing yet. Might be okay. Run. Oh, okay, we're okay. We're all right. <laughs> oh, that's so stressful. So stressful. Right, we live to fight another day with our average. Hey, I just caught a random... Uh, Baby Impling that I saw on the way out of Varrock to go to the well, of course, and we got ourselves a silver bar. That's so funny. 400 mil for the first one, random Baby Impling for the second one. I'm trying to think if that's useful for anything. I guess, in theory, it could be useful for, um, for doing Nature's Spirit, if I can get myself a Sickle Mold. And I think you can get a Sickle Mold from... What, over here? Or is that... Oh, no, that's the crafting shop there. Uh, rest in peace. Okay, we were doing some splashing last night, and we just hit level 94 magic, and also 1,100 total, which is pretty nice. Five more levels to go until level 99. <gasps> oh, my God! See? I caught you, didn't I? Not looking at the screen. Well, whilst I've got your attention, I'll take the time to shout out my uh, my buddy, Agile Tom, who's been doing an extreme one chunk series based at the Chambers of Zarek. He's getting every single purple, and I believe all the challenge mode capes from the Chambers of Zarek before rolling his first chunk. Really great series. His last video in particular was really good. So go check it out. Subscribe to his channel. Drop a comment on his video saying that I sent you. And yeah, I'll leave the link in the description and the link on the screen as well. What is it with the fucking magic seeds? Literally can't stop getting them for love and money. Fucking hell. 114 in the bank now. This is going to be a hell of a looting bag. Look at the state of that. Two dragon plate legs to be added to our magic seeds. 1.2 mil already and we have done like hardly any kills this trip. Oh, let's just go for it. If we, the avarice will be a bigger loss than any loot we leave. Any loot that we lose. So let's just keep going. Let's do these 700 remaining charges and see what we get to. Uh, okay, last kill of the trip. Uh, we're just down to like a few charges on the bow now, so not much we can do. I don't know what the looting bow is going to be. I reckon probably about 2 mil, something like that. 2.5, look at that. That is fat as fuck. Luckily, no PKs came by. And we got a lamp as well. I'll chuck that into Slayer. Oh, that's a Slayer level. Very nice. Level 22. The level 4 Desert Lizards, which I cannot kill and probably won't kill for a long time. 
Uh, the goal level on the Slayer Lamping is 45, because that would be the Infernal Mages in the Slayer Tower, which we do have unlocked, but no means really to train our... Sorry, I was just getting a bit, bit anticipated of that guy. Um, yeah, we don't have any means to train our Slayer, so when we do, hopefully we'll be a bit closer to actually unlocking something. Oh, there is a nice little 8 mil emblem. We take those. Not too bad as a looting bag doing 700k. I just love the pink text on the ground. One day that pink text will be a Vigorous Chain Mace, but we'll take the 8 mil. Very nice indeed. Grab ourselves the Law Runes over here. How many kills are we at now? We are at... 38,950, nearly at the big four zero 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 zero. Forty thousand revenants. Can you believe I've done that many since I rolled this chunk? Absolutely crazy. And the fact that most of them were with a maple short bow at this point is still even more mad. So happy to have the craws. So happy to have the duplicate avarice as well. Pumping forties with the craws makes it all the sweeter because we get seeing drops like this all the more often. Eight mil. Things we love to see. So this is a relatively big moment. Chuck all that into the bank. 460 mil there. But over 500 mil bank value. Absolutely massive. It never ends. We just got another 1 mil emblem. Really not long after the other one. <laughs> well, I mean, how many kills was it? Yeah, that that many. Really not a lot. Oh, we just it's just too much money. We just can't stop getting money. Okay, this is kind of spooky. I've got a guy chasing me with a rune crossbow who is 109 combat. Uh, he doesn't seem to have entangles or anything on me, but he does have the agility level. Uh, and we've just run out of run. <laughs> so hopefully we can make it out of range before we run out of food. Oh, that was a chance. <laughs> oh, that was stress. Okay, okay, we made it. Hopefully. The Avarice is so nice for the Manta Ray, because normally it drops like, you know, 15-ish Manta Ray, and I have to just leave them, uh, or only pick up a few every time. But being able to grab those noted is absolutely massive, because at the end of every trip, I've got usually like 50 in the bank, and I feel like this one, yeah, this one I've got a bit more, 37, and I'm really early into the trip. So being able to bank those for the future will be so nice. So I really hope I can keep hold. Okay, that's a bot. I really hope I can keep hold of this Avarice for a decent amount of time so I can just bank some Manta Rays. That's actually probably the main thing I want to get out of this. Okay, we might be in a bit of trouble here. This guy is high level and has agility levels. <laughs> uh, could be in a bit of bother here. Uh, we've got the we've got the amulet on us as well. We could be in bother if we can't get gap or anything. No, oh that could have been it. Ugh. Get it? We might get it. Oh, he splashed three times in a row. That's so lucky. Oh, he's 106 combat, so I just need to make it a couple more levels. Couple more levels. Ah, oh, we're good. Oh, I tried the bribery and that did not work. Oh my god. God, my heart's going a bit there. Whew. Hey, someone just got a crossbow close to me. Nervous Rub. Can't decide if that's a bot or not based on the name. But uh, congrats to him. I don't need any more of those. I've got three of them. Oh, well, I've got two of them. I lost one. Um, but, yeah, hopefully we can get the mace soon. Come on. Oh, he gets a crossbow. I get an ancient crystal. Number 17 in the bank. 18 overall. Oh, 
I just can't stop getting them. I just can't stop. Oh. Uh, I just, just in trying to get my recorder up, I died. No! Oh, there goes the avarice. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, shut up. All right. Oh, all right. Ah. Oh. Down to just the one avarice there. Oh, that's so annoying. We might have been able to get away from that. It was like 113 combat, so we wouldn't have had to go that far south. Oh, no. Oh, that's so bleak. It was so much faster and just so much more enjoyable. Everything going straight to the looting bag. Oh, that's so infuriating. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is always the worst thing that happens. Walking into a bar whilst I'm on the way back. Whilst I'm on the way back to the bank and I've got no run and nothing. Oh, don't smite me. Oh god, that was just so bad. The no run is so bleak. No food. I think there's I've only got like five hundred K in the looting bag to be fair, so it's not the end of the world. Oh, that's so annoying. <sighs> run, run, run. We got gap, we might get away with it. No, because I've got no run! Oh, fucking hell! Oh, that's so grim. That is so grim. Come on, please splash. Oh, we're done. We're cooked. <laughs> oh, running back to the bank. Get in the bin. <laughs> right, I might have a go at killing this. Fucking hell, it hits you hard, doesn't it? Maybe I won't have a go at killing this. <laughs> I thought it would be quite easy. What am I supposed to pray? I literally don't know. Range? I feel like, yeah, other people are just going to show up and it's going to become impossible. Yeah, that's really stupid. Why does that thing hit you so hard? Am I doing it wrong? Someone tell me if I'm doing it wrong. It's a sad, sad day. We just died. Yet again, so many PKs around at the moment, and we are out of rather than ether. So we're going to have to start collapsing ourselves some bracelets, which is very, very sad because I've not had to collapse any yet. This is just all of the ones that we've that we've got on the way. 64 mils worth of bracelets. Uh, I don't know how many I've collapsed, maybe just like 100 to start or something like that. Sad times, sad times. Oh, and not only that, but we are also out of black dehyde, so we're going to have to go make some more sad, sad times. Luckily, we've got 1,400 to go, but it's a ball lake coming to go all the way to Canopus to sort it out. Ugh. Big moment for the account coming in here. Level 99 range. There we go. There we go indeed. Look at that. Woohoohoo. 87 combat. So we shouldn't be uh, increasing our combat level very quickly at all uh, in future um, because we'll only be getting combat levels from hit points. So 87 is hopefully going to be the last level we get. Do we need? Yeah, we need two hit points levels. Come on. Surely we can get the uh, chain mace before we get to level 90 hit points. Uh, good times, good times. Right, that's going to make uh, training, like, you know, just getting loads of range XP, it'll probably feel like it goes past really, really quick now. No, oh, I just don't know what happened today. The It was just painful in the Rev Caves. I died about a dozen times. Yesterday, using the Avarice, didn't die once, all day. And then uh, today, it's just been absolutely painful. So we're going to do some agility to compensate. 150k until level 84. Should be able to get that tonight, I think, kind of, an, on, as a, of a, on a mix of PC and mobile. Uh, it would be nice to get level 85 before the next video, I think, because then we're le leaving ourselves with four levels to go to level 89, which is obviously the chunk goal. And that just feels like a, you know, positively doable thing. Yet another one mil totem. Cannot move for them. How many have I got now? Probably a lot. Uh, 
18. <laughs> 18 mil in just the one mil totems. That's kind of crazy. Uh, yeah, that's that's kind of nuts. And a number 19. Oh, hopefully we can get something slightly more exciting soon. Uh, what kill count are we at as well? Uh, 40,000 exactly. There we go. 40,000 for the ancient totem. 1 mil GP. <sighs> 25k GP for each kill we've done. No, no, that doesn't work. 25 GP for every uh, every kill that we've done. That's kind of nuts, isn't it? They were at 40,000, still don't have a mace. Come on, please soon. Oh, well, at least it's something slightly different. It's a different colour on the ground as well, which we like to see. The, uh, the orange is pretty cool. 2 million GP, we take those. How many kills since we got the one mil one? Let's have a look. Uh, 96. Not too bad. We will take a statuette or something every 96 kills. That will do us nicely. Oh, there we go. Another one mil emblem. <laughs> Why is it never anything exciting? Come on. I mean, that was really not a lot of kills since the last one. I mean, we're talking... Yeah, like tw 24 kills because I've killed three extra since I got it. Because I was on the phone when I got it. Uh, but another one mil. <laughs> three in about, you know, less than an hour. Not too bad. I cannot actually explain how much I wish I could get the range cape. Because not only would it look way better than these basic bitch capes that I've got. But also, it would be like an Avers device, which I feel like would be so cool for when I'm using an, an actual short bow as opposed to the crossbow. But just imagine, imagine how sick that would look if I had the untrimmed range cape on right now. Oh, that would look so juice. Oh, you are fucking kidding me. Not again. A fourth one. <laughs> Why isn't it ever just a fucking chain mace? My fourth scepter. Oh, nice to get a weapon. I mean, it just looks unbelievable on the ground, doesn't it? But that's just infuriating. <laughs> oh, please, please. I just want a mace. I just want a mace. KC at the moment is 40346. We should have what? 12 weapons, something like that, and we've got or 12 weapons and avarice, and we've got 9, so we're kind of owed 3 still, so hopefully our RNG can keep up, and we can pull another unique soon, that is gutting, that it's, that I just got, ugh. oh, Scepter, come on, I'm not really sure how, but when I ran up here, I somehow managed to bring 250 Revenant Cave Tellies with me. They were just in my invent, so I dropped them and put them in the looting bag. But if my stack of Tellies goes down by 250, you know why? Because I can't be bothered running all the way back to the bank to deposit them. But I also know that 250 Revenant Cave Tellies, losing them would, would be a bit of an L. So, yeah, that, 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 that happened. On a more positive note, though, I'll tell you what. I've had this crossbow now for, what, 12,000 KC, and not lost it. I've managed to keep hold of a crossbow for once. So clearly getting that 60 prayer and just generally not playing uh, playing with it on mobile has come through and saved the day. A 12,000 KC sculled at quads with a crossbow, and I still have it. Amazing. <laughs> oh, if, if only it was actually mine. Oh, so sad. <laughs> oh, what what I would do for that to be legit. Oh, I should grab a screenshot of that for the boys, shouldn't I? They'll only laugh. <laughs> if he just let, I think he's just gonna let it despawn. <laughs> What a legend. I feel like I should pick it up at the last moment on this account. Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't know how long it will last. I don't know if he wants it back or not. Look at it. Oh, it looks so good. I wish it was mine. I wish it was mine. Oh, fuck. 
We just got an avarice. And I've got a big air on me. What's his agility level? Okay, he's got 63 agility, so I just need to grab the avarice and go. I've still got the fucking thing there as well, though. Uh, come on. Right, I need to get away now. Oh. Uh. Okay, okay. I should be all right. Across this gap, I should be okay against a noob like this. Okay. I really want to go back and get those seeds, though. <laughs> Oh, right, come on. Oh, right, okay. So I need to think how I'm going to get those seeds. Uh, right, I need to log out. And then see if he leaves on this account. Or if I can lead him away. I really want this. Okay, is he logged out? Okay, he's logged out. Right, let's go. Come on, we're on a mission to get the seeds now. As if I just got an avarice. Oh, that's so annoying. So that guy, that guy coming and dropping the thing was literally, you know, no time ago. And then I got a roll on the tape. And then I got a roll on the table. Come on. Run, 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 run. Grab the seeds. Okay, we got them. Right, so we got the four magic seeds and the avarice in the looting bag. So now we just need to make it back to the bank. That is the second best drop for me because I can actually use it. Because obviously I lost one earlier. But if I can use that one... Um, then we can do some better revenants again and hopefully not lose it very quickly. There's a lot of PKs around at the moment, so I'm not going to use it now, but potentially tomorrow morning, super early, I will. Oh my god. <laughs> What's the chances of that? That guy that guy sacrificed his mace so I would get a dupe avarice. Oh, it's still good. It's still good. It's not as annoying as the scepter was, and certainly not as annoying as a bow would be. Okay, so we're back to our two avarices. That looks very nice in the bank. Let's have a look at the log. 40,442. Drops have really been raining in in this video, um, which is good. Unfortunately, not the one that we want, but that collection looks starting to look pretty stacked, doesn't it? Oh, I just shit myself a little bit because I got a pink text. Four mil emblem. Better than 1 mil, better than 2 mil, better than 500k, better than most things. Oh, I really, really thought for a second though. <sighs> one day soon, one day soon, come on. Right, I've decided to bust out the avarice and just give it a go. It's 6.30 in the morning, you know, there's not going to be a better time. We get hit, we get hit. I'm, I'm all right unless it's like an absolute raid boss of a PK. So I'm trying to avoid that by staying away from the European worlds. Because for some reason, and I don't know if this is just personal experience, whenever I'm on the German worlds, it's just like, you know, I ju I'm just picturing these like Finnish 140 IQ PKers that just, you know, have got clicks like 1013. Um, but on the US and UK worlds, I just don't see those people. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to do at least a few trips with the Avarice without losing it. 700 shots worth of cross oh, crossbow with the Avarice. Let's see what loot we got. 1.2 mil. That's kind of the average that we've been getting per trip. That's so big. Honestly, that light is why the bank value is just skyrocketing. Look at that. Killed them all with multiple seconds till it spawns again. God, this avarice goes so fucking hard when it wants to. Fuck off. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Fuck right off. We just got a fifth scepter before we got a fucking mace. Fuck off. Oh, just look at it on the ground. You are fucking kidding me. Why can it at least be a crossbow? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, come on, let's just get two back to back. That would be really funny if I just got the mace as well like on the ground. Oh, you are joking me. Oh, God. Oh, at least it looks nice on the ground. Oh. <laughs> that is infuriating. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck right off. Lol, look at this as well, right? On my other account. There's I've got two in the chat that it's happened so often on this account. So it's listing it as two having happened. And also another guy just got one like in the next room. What the fuck is happening with the scepters?
Look at this thing entering the bank. Four in the bank, one in the invent, five Theremin scepters. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, here we go. We've got a PK on us. What's his agility level? He's got 70 agility, which is not good. Although we're kind of killing him, to be fair, so maybe we'll get away with it. Hopefully this guy doesn't have any summer pies on him. Looks like he's made a small mistake there. So if he doesn't have the pies, we should be... <laughs> Come on, no pies, no pies. Oh, fuck. I can't let this guy get my fucking avarice. That would be so bleak. Come on, run. Oh, we so nearly had the gap there. Oh, where do we go? Where do we go? What should we do? Should we try the same again? Fucking hell, stop working me so much. Oh, no. Fuck. Come on, come on, fuck off! He's at 82 combat, so I just can't run. Come on, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, okay. I don't think he teleblocked me, did he? No, okay, right, so I just need to run away. Oh, oh I can't explain how happy I am. Whew. God, my heart's actually going a bit. I really, <laughs> even though it doesn't particularly matter, I do really want to keep the avarice. Oh, God, okay, thank God for that. Emblems, emblems, emblems. Two mil emblem. Not too bad. I guess we take those. Grab that and head to the bank. We're right at the end of the trip anyway. 3.3 mil in the looting bag. Really not too bad. Oh, obviously missed the level. Well, that is 89 hit points. Oh, well, are we going to get to 90? I really hope not. Oh, you all have seen a clip uh, just, you know, a few seconds ago. But for me, it has been over 36 hours. Not of in-game time, probably about 12 hours of in-game time of just doing stuff. But it's been a little while since we've achieved anything. Uh, but we're going to achieve something now. Uh, and it's not going to be the pet, I don't think. Um, although you can get it from this course. I'm not sure if you get it from that obstacle or handing in the stick. But the most important thing is... Level 85 agility. Just four levels to go until the chunk goal is complete. What a level that is. 85 is like a proper milestone, I think. I remember... When I played uh, back in 2000 and God knows what, 2006, 2005, something like that, I remember getting 85 attack as my highest stat and being like, my God, I am a baller. I had like 85 attack and 60 strength. Um, I just fundamentally didn't understand how the combat worked at all. I was like, yes, I can have a whip and I'll be even better with it if I get even higher attack. Um, but yeah, that, that was a bit of a tangent. But yeah, 85 agility, not bad, and we shall keep pushing okay we just shot off a thousand crossbows with the avarice equipped let's have a peek in the looting bag and see how rich we are two million gp that is so nice four dragon long swords huge 12 eight bracelets oh love stacking up the ether um barely any man to that trip which is a bit sad but yeah that's why it's so good. Just just being able to do those long ass trips and to get those huge looting bags is so nice. This has got to be, this has got to be the worst invent of loot I've ever seen for 750 shots of crossbow. Look at that! No rune legs, no rune plate bodies, no dragon anything. Miserable, miserable.
Oh, I'm sure you guys are by now, but I never get bored of the double dragon plate legs. Just looks so nice on the ground. 325k in pure coinage. So, so nice. All right, we're back with the fattest looting bag you've ever seen. Look at the juice on that. Ooh, bleh. Oh, God, so good. <laughs> Two and a half mil. Oh, the Amulet of Avarice it just goes fucking crazy, man. Oh, I'm about to ruin it with this kill, but there is 42,000 kills, and we did not get the mace on the 42,000 and first, but we're still going strong. Let's get this. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, so nearly smited for the crossbow as well. I tried to get the recorder up. Oh no! <laughs> oh, we lost our avarice, which is very sad. But at least I didn't lose the crossbow. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, there was like no chance I was going to escape that guy anyway. He's like the perfect build to kill me. 82 attack, obviously, for the, uh, for the fang. 99 strength, 99 rage, 99 mage. 77 prayer for augury. 89 agility, so I couldn't have got away from him on the obstacles either. Just way too stacked for me, unfortunately. Um, yeah, down and out, down to one avarice again, which means we're going vanilla into the caves with just the crossbow, which is very sad making. But you know, it is what it is. I got I got a decent amount out of the avarice to be honest. We got a amount of race stack back up to nearly 700, which really isn't too bad. And our Addy bars are flying for it as well. Ah, <sighs> that's so sad making. What kill count are we at now? 42,114. I'm pretty sure I got well over a thousand, um, a thousand kills with the Avarice, which is pretty decent, to be honest. Um, I haven't had a big emblem in a while, like an 8 mil or a 16 mil or anything like that, so hopefully we can get one of those soon, even if we do not get ourselves the Chain Mace. Sad times. Oh, I decided to swap it up, swap it up a bit and do... Um, do some orcs and got myself a little totem quite quickly. I'm, I'm working out that I can get kind of about 165 uh, kills per hour here at the orcs, which isn't too bad really. Uh, looks like I'm going to try and get attempted to be killed by this guy, which is quite funny. Uh, <laughs> he seems to have given up on that, although I'm going to lose a bracelet of Ethereum for it. No, fuck it, we're going back for it. Fuck you. I want that bracelet. <laughs> oh no. Come on, run. Okay, looks like you can't attack me for some reason. <laughs> Unlucky. Good stuff. And I'm back at uh, quads because, oh my goodness, orcs are fucking busy. <laughs> I've never seen so many PKs in my life. Sometimes I can go sort of 30, 40 minutes here without seeing a PK. At the orcs, my god, it's every two minutes. It's insane. So, yeah, I'm going to stick to the quads and just do my time here. I thought if I went to Orcs and got a slightly better drop rate, maybe I'd have some luck. But unfortunately not. Hopefully, we'll have some luck here, though. Well, this isn't a very fun situation, is it? I've got some peak air on me after that last guy. And I've got like, no food. And this guy actually has the shortcut. That is fucking lame. I might get this. If he doesn't bind me. <laughs> Come on, don't lag too much. Oh, I'm just too good. I'm just too good. Right, we've got a guy here who does have the agility level. So what we'll do is try and fake him out. If he splashes that. So I need him to kind of splash on me because he's got... Ice, it's not very good for me to be honest. Um, it's definitely better to do that sort of when I cross to the north and run east. But, oh, got me there. Rip. At least we keep the crossbow. Oh, God. Come on. Oh, neat. We just hit 3,000 laps at the werewolf course. Less than 2,000 to go. Halfway to level 86. Flying through it. Can't believe I've done 3,000 laps already. It's one of those grinds where it feels like it's just, you know, 
gone gone like I've, I've barely even registered that i've done those laps but yeah i guess we've done 3012 laps time for another decent little level level 86 agility only three levels to go even at the well of course this is taking quite a long time so i can only imagine how long this would have taken had i done that had i had to do the cannabis course so that 400 mil for the silver bar was definitely worth it 86 agility on a screen one chunk that seems kind of crazy um that 89 feels quite you know within grasp now it felt very very far away when i rolled this chunk but it's starting to get a lot closer which i'm very very happy about i think i'm gonna have to call it there we made some insane progress in this video which i'd love to show you if my client wasn't frozen um 86 agility that's just totally nuts like really making some solid progress on that we've got a shitload of u logs and magic logs in the bank as well for our 80 fletching and you know even though we didn't get anything new we got a lot of kill count we got a lot of emblems we got <laughs> a lot of rolls on the unique table five rolls and all it was was scepters and avarices which is a bit bleak but if we can keep up this kind of kill count we're going to get that Vigoras pretty soon. I'm, I'm probably not going to release the next video until I get the Vigoras or 50,000 kill count. Not sure which. Uh, probably just until I get the Vigoras, to be honest. Um, but absolutely crazy progress. Um, check out the merch store if you if you like my channel and you want to kind of support me. It's, it's, it's all good stuff. I've got some of it and it looks pretty good. And, uh, you know, makes me feel pretty inclusive to the old school community when I go to Rune Fest and I see other people wearing the chunk merch I'm gonna be like yo it's you and I'm me that kind of thing <laughs> um but I'd also like to say a big thank you to the channel members and we'll start off with our newest channel member Teeters who joined at uh, straight away at the legend tier so a huge thank you to him aside from that we've got the big man LS as always uh and then we have Fontcest Sir Yolo and Talfin at the Amethyst tier, Crito and Fireball Tech at the Rune tier, and then joining Teeters in the Legend tier is Elpinin and Come Crumpet. Love that name. Um, we also have all of the members at the Gold. You know, some of them have now been with us for a long time, so a huge thank you to these guys: Avery Fields, Eddie Mayer, Shocked Thief, Mitchell Nunley, DJ Focus, Grimsley, Grimzoso, Salnex or Kai. Hunterman, Carl Sprouse, Ninrim, Papa Brando, Squang, Olivette, Hazmat83, Nilo360, Croporo, Vandio Gaming, Cluey Louie, Asheranka, Dominique G, and Spooky Pastad. Thank you so much for supporting the channel and watching the videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you in the next one. We're up to 64 days playtime now. You've got to bear in mind that we started this chunk on just about 30. So over half the time on this account ever has been in this chunk. We've made a lot of progress. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.